If you can, maybe give us a, uh, a note in Zoom. Okay. Because I don't have the stream up. I would think that would be distracting. Is that stream link going to be posted anywhere? Thank you. I uh, dig and I uh, give my life to the EOD. <laughs> Give my life to the EOD, I uh, dig and I uh, The deep ones know what is best for me. Uh, we are live. Excellent. Well, it is April 12th in 1926 and about quarter past eight. You're all aboard a ship, the SS Essex, and you are traveling past Folly Point in Massachusetts. The sea has been rough as you all have been making your way to Rockport for various reasons. And it seems as though everyone is standing aboard the deck of the ship uh, or at, at the portholes or at the windows looking outside. They're a bit worried because the crew is running amok um, because it seems though that the lighthouse has gone dark at Folly Point. The ship makes a strange noise as all of the players um, that we all have here. We have got Alexander, Stuart, Lavender, Bert, Sam, and Theodore all, all gathered on one edge of the ship as everyone is on the uh, starboard side, which is also the side of the where the lighthouse should be. And a loud noise. It sounds as though the metal is tearing away from the ship, and the ship lurches and lists a little bit. Now, you haven't really gotten to speak to each other or know each other, but you recognize that the ship is getting lower and closer to the water. What is it that we are going to do? Well, I'd Here. like to. I'd like to look over the side and see if we've run aground something. You have hit it. It seems though you have hit a very large rock. And we are going down. Or yes. Is it it's because the car, the the ship has been been tossed away from the the rock and the the rock formation, and you're still traveling a bit. Okay. There well, are bells ringing. Uh, to the lifeboats. I grab my research and head to the lifeboat. Uh, I check on the captain. What is the captain doing? The captain is yelling for people now to get to the lifeboats um, to get off. And uh, some of the crew members are motioning folks into different lifeboats. Uh, there is uh, uh, Theodore. You're on the same side as the uh, as these folks on the starboard at the lifeboat and as being a member of the member of the crew maybe a good idea yeah. to kind of you know bring people over or you can hop on the boat and say bye guys how to shuffle them around you know you know women and children first and whatnot <laughs> i will scurry over to the lifeboats i don't fancy taking a dip it looks very cold ah i've swum in colder it's not enjoyable and i i make sure that i'm helping everybody onto the lifeboat but I will be the last one on outside of the crew. Okay. Um, Lavender's clutching a sketchbook tight to her chest, trying to keep it from getting too wet, and she's got a little bag with brushes and things on her back. So, I forgot to mention, there is one house rule that I'm going to include. I'm going to use the house rule from, uh, from Delta Green for luck. Luck is a straight 50% shot, 50% chance. So, if I have you make a luck roll, um, you can spend luck, but we'll talk about that later on for your rolls. All right. Um, so, you're ushering the folks onto the uh, aboard the life raft. Um, a life raft. It's more of a, it is a lifeboat. It's not necessarily a blow up raft at this time. It's made of wood. It starts to get lowered um, 
or the lowering the lowering begins and um, Theodore and, and uh, Alexander you both are uh, ready to ready to go and the ship uh, seems to make a very sudden and jerky movement uh, nearly throwing you to the ground I would like both of you to make a luck roll as the rest is g- have all all uh, filed onto the onto the boat alright so both of you are pitched overboard and both hit the water at the same time you see the the lifeboat as you pass down as you fall and hit the water there's a loud there's a splash and uh, both of you are, are swimming against the 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 current in the waves and the waves are high so that leaves the four of you the rest of you are see two of your fellow uh, you know passengers and the crew uh, end up ending up in the drink ending up in the water is there a life preserver to grab uh, from the boat exactly. there is, yes there are life preservers uh, for everyone in the boat the seas are quite rough there's no no roped life preservers or anything like that there is a tube. If we're uh, close like a, together, can I swim over to him or? Yes. All right. Uh, I will oh, go for it first. Should I roll a swim check here? Yes, please. Oh, be careful. Please don't drop the boat. <laughs> the boat hits the water right as soon as you say that. And the, the, main, the, the ship, the Essex, kind of moves a little bit further away. And you notice it's starting to list the opposite direction and uh, and sink. Hopefully, the others have uh, gotten off well. There's a bit of a fire going off in the uh, the aft section of the boat. Uh, Theodore, you you do quite well in your swimming. So All you- right. right, I'm gonna swim over to him, try to hook him with one arm, and cooperatively tread. I I will <laughs> I will likewise. I. Uh, See what the what Theodore is trying to do, and instead of fighting, which you know, knowing it could get us drowned, I will then do kind of a co-op breaststroke uh, with the sailor who is kind enough to swim out. All right, uh, and I will try to throw them. The uh, is the tube attached to a rope, or is it, it just is, a tube? The tube oh. is attached to a rope. Yes, fabulous. Then let's right. let's uh, let's two of us try to throw the tube as far out to them as possible. Is there somebody else on the boat that can? Can throw it with me. I can help. All right. I'll, All right. Um, do we need to like anchor the the rope so it doesn't just sure. fly off? Perfect. I'll hold on to this rope. All right. There is a throw roll now. The throw roll on your character sheet. There is going to be a. Bear with me. Uh, regular, uh, verbose. Verbose at the very top. Yes. Go ahead and give me a verbose. A ver- verbose throw row. Yes. Throw, throw, throw the rope. Awesome. Hey, look at that. Excellent. So, you heave, you heave the heave the ring at them, and it lands not far away. It, it actually uh, close enough for for both of them to catch. Or I to, shout for uh, them to point in case they missed it. Okay. It splashes right in front of the, the two folks in the water. That looks grab like a lucky day. Yep. Uh, I will kind of release as I grab out for the rope uh, for the for the front end of the tube. Uh, release Theodore. Okay. Let's haul him in. Um, I find this really quite inspiring and I'd like to try to sketch this act of he- heroism that I'm witnessing. It's very ring? dark and um, really rather wet, but I'd like to try. Okay. You start to you start to, to, to scribble down or to, to draw up something. Um, if you want to see how well you capture the scene, you can go ahead and make a uh, a, a sketching roll. Mm-hmm. I, I, oh. I will try to make sure that I show her my best side. 
Oh, she got the other side. Oh, in- inspiration for later, I suppose. The water, the rain, is not helping with the uh, with the paper. It's causing causing a bit of. <laughs> you thought it might add some flavor to it, but it seems to be uh, causing more harm than good. The uh, the two folks that were in the drink get pulled pulled to the edge of the boat and are able to climb over uh, with no problem. The rain seems to settle a bit, and you see the a few other lifeboats heading off in another di- in in another direction. And your lifeboat is very close to shore. Um, you're all in some form or fashion, nice and wet. It's not necessarily the most comfortable, but that's where we're at now. And uh, you see, the island is the island is nearby. I will start swimming towards shore in the rough waters with the tow rope. Okay. But I now take as a tow rope. All right. We got ours. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get into the boat? You're gonna freeze out. Well, there, how right? close are we to the boat? How close are we to the boat? To the boat, you are. They they're able to pull you to the edge of the boat. Oh, okay, okay. Get, Never mind. And you can get up into the boat with no problem at all. Okay, then yeah. I will get into the boat and get out of the water. I mean, yep. otherwise you'll get hypothermia or something. Ah, uh, that takes minutes. It'll be fine. Um. Hmm. All so, right, everyone, grab an oar. Row towards the land. Right. I take it. Are yeah, we turn around people? first, then row towards the land. <laughs> are, are we the only people in this boat? The people that are that are. Yes, there's the 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 six of you are the only ones in this boat. Okay. At this time. Um. So to actively move the boat to shore, uh, the best bet would be to uh, someone to roll a pilot boat roll. Um, having a crew member aboard is uh, is a good is a good idea because they know how they know their ins and outs of of uh, lifeboats and other boats. I'm going to try to get you guys to listen to me. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me a... My pilot boat room. Oh. Never mind. All right. Mm. Dylan, you've been rolling great all night. Yeah. At least, at least in the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this keeps going. Or maybe not. Hmm. No, no, I'm happy. You're good at sea, bad at land. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> You row the boat uh, to the rocky coast, the rocky northern coast of of this island. You see in the lightning flashes behind, you see a uh, the tower of the lighthouse uh, beyond in the darkness. The lighthouse has gone dark. Yeah, someone's slacked on their job. But you... That seems quite dangerous. Uh, perhaps we should uh, get in out of the cold rain and perhaps see uh, what's wonder, going on. Wonder if Absolutely. that would be why we hit the rock. Can everyone see the map? Yep. Yes. All right. So you're able to bring the boat ashore at the dock that's there. The dock is uh, it's not pro- it's not protected, so the water is splashing up and over it but it is safe and you're able to tie off uh, pretty well, pretty easily, excuse me. Yeah, the, the light, the, the lighthouse has gone dark. Mm. It is a bit of a concern. Um, mm. Other, other ships are out there. This is a, a, a shipping line. As we're walking up, um, uh, Stuart is getting his bearings and nervously with a like, saturated uh, handkerchief is like going through the motions of like cleaning his spectacles but like obviously it's not effective he's just sort of like like a nervous habit Alexander uh, Alexander as he's taking up kind of the rear of the pack whoever is kind of back there near him hears him whisper uh, you may have gotten me this time but I'll be back mistress I'll be back So this is the first time that the six of you have gotten to, uh, you know, have a chance to talk where, you know, the sea's not buffing against the, the, the lifeboat that you have. Um, you all look around and it looks as though that we have 
a you know wide slice of life you know folks that dress fairly well folks that are dressed uh, uh, middle class uh, and uh, you know even even some some working class folks such as our uh, our uh, our seaman our sailor there I'm gonna pull out my hidden flask and take a sip and offer it to everyone else what time of the year uh, yes it's April. It's cold then. Yes, it's a little bit chilly. It's April in, in Massachusetts. Well, then we should find someplace dry to dry off. In the lighthouse. Let's go to the lighthouse. I think going to the lighthouse makes quite a bit of sense. I don't know that anything about the light process myself, but at least it would be dry. Yeah, we might find a drunk guy unconscious. <laughs> um. Uh, er- the uh, yes. the prohibition is in full effect right now. Oh. Okay. Oh no no that's that's oh, quite all right. Still, that's quite all right, Theodore. Sense. Yeah, you, you're <laughs> fine. You you have your you have your flask. Uh, I give him, him a cheap side. bootleg rum. <laughs> yeah, so I, I give him a side side eye uh, with him uh, uh, with him taking a drink. Okay. I'm gonna pull it back away and close it up and be like, it's it's a uh, seltzer. Don't worry about it. Medicinal. It's medicinal. I'm for calling it seltzer. glaucoma. Yeah, it could I'm, be. For I'm glaucoma. calling it seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> it does warm your soul, especially after you've been in the been in the ocean for some time. Um, it's a uh, it's a night. It's a feeling of comfort. Um, you'd much rather be aboard a ship, but now you're aboard land. At least you're not in the water. Um, the lighthouse, like I mentioned, is above. It is up on a a bit of a hill. Um, so you would have to trek up. There is a muddy pathway that leads up to up to the lighthouse itself. Um, Before we leave the beach, mm-hmm. are there any other people coming in that we should be aware of? They all went to the other shore, right? Well, they all went in other, other directions, actually. Oh. Um, some of them went out to see others... Um, we're with the current. You don't see any of them coming to shore. You actually don't see any of them past the waves at this moment either. Is there a lot of is there a lot of footprints? I, I think I'd be looking around just for traffic to see if there's a lot of people on this that, that have been on this path, or whether or not it's uh, you know a single person or a few people. Allow me. the the path itself it does have a few footprints on it um, quite a bit actually quite a bit of traffic coming up and pretty deep in the mud you're getting an idea that this has been traveled since the rain started and the rain started earlier this afternoon hmm is there Glancing back, there's no sign of another boat on the dock, right? Is it no. just our boat? Just your boat is is tied to the dock here. Right. So, is there a? There's no signals or lights or anything down here at the dock that could be turned on or or lit for those who are still in the water to know a safe space. Uh, you do not have any, and you also do not have any flares. Okay. There is a bit of a sound of a buzzing coming from uphill. Let's go up there. What kind of a buzzing? Um, give me a mechanical or an electrical repair, Sam. Mechanical or electrical repair. Mm, Got to find it here. Hold on. Mechanical or let's see. Mechanical is. The bottom middle, I believe. Not very good. Got close, though. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give that to you because you got very close. Um, it I'm sounds like today. it sounds like it's an electrical generator. Well, good. That's helpful. For a second there, I was afraid you were going to say it was cicadas. <laughs> I don't Mechanical. have those. In, don't have those here in Arizona. Yay. Um, not yet, at least. 
so you guys the you guys are trekking up the the muddy path yes all right yes yes definitely but you everyone else you notice because you're looking at the footprints you see that branching off the path um leading to the left um off the path and kind of down uh you know to the east it looks as though that there are small muddy animal footprints that kind of you know uh you know branch off and go off into the the brush and the brush is only maybe about you know chest high with some small trees and tall grass but the rest are distinctly boot prints and uh, you see that there is a, a small uh uh, a small track as well. So, do, 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 does it look like rabbit tracks, or is it fox no. tracks, or they look like a like duck tracks, but a little bit bigger? Hmm. Oh, well, they must have some rather large fowl around these parts. I'd love to see some in the daylight. Yeah, like hey, Canadian warm. geese. They're a pest. Yeah, there it's like, it's like a giant goose track. Let's just keep going. <laughs> you know, they say I, any landing you can walk away from is a good one. <laughs> I, I, I have to ask, as the marine biologist, when you say giant goose track, how giant do you mean? You mean just an overly sized goose track, or are we talking about something really unusual? All right, so. I suspect water birds would be somewhere within my area of expertise. Yeah, I don't think that would be too far off your... Too far out of your wheelhouse, if you will. Let's see here. What sciences do you have? You've got biology. You've got zoology. Give me a zoology roll. Okay. Science. Science! Zoology. Oh, apparently I don't know geese. No, you don't know geese at all. You don't even it it. It's a big goose print. Like you know, a big they're goose really print. not marine birds. They're more inland birds. <laughs> but whatever you seem to be dealing with, just keep heading in. Yes, uh, lavender is going to really quite scurry up this hill. Okay. Um, it's really rather cold and dark, and seems like it'd be much nicer inside of a lighthouse. As I scan the horizon, do I see where those other boats are? Are they still in the water? In the rain, in the dark, you've lost sight of them. You think you do see one of them um, heading north of the island? and uh, heading west to land uh, but you're not entirely sure you, you think that you think it might be so you think that they might be safe but it's it's still uh, still unclear um, give me a tick here lavender you make it to the door the front door the building itself is set up in the north south type of, uh, actually it's, it's east-west uh, east-west uh, type of formation. Um, on the map here it's at the north and uh, if I ping the map you should mm -hmm. see where you're at uh, being right, right about here. Okay. And you find that the door is opened just uh, just a hair. Yeah, well, this seems like a Bit of a lazy decision, but in we go. Okay. She'll go inside. Uh, does it? Does anything look like? Uh, was there a lock on it or anything that maybe was broken or anything on the door, or is the door just swinging open because there's, there's no nothing to keep it from being open? It's or closed. No, it does have a it does have a, a locking mechanism. It's similar to a house door, so it does have a you know uh, a keyhole and a. Uh, you know, and a, and a doorknob. The uh, it was just slightly. It was just open at that point. Um, it is dark in here. Um, there is a little bit of a buzz, and uh, from the light on the outside, you do see that there are a few buttons on the wall 
that might illuminate the illuminate the the hallway. Hmm. I'd like to start to push the buttons. Okay, you push the button. You hit the button and light and it lights up. And you see that there's a long hallway that leads to stairs leading up with uh, doors on on either side, two doors on each side, and it is uh, nicely pointed here. Um, there is you know wall painter wall painting or excuse me wallpaper with some paintings on the wall um it's uh give me a second here like i said it's 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 nicely pointed this is where some people live um ahead of you there paintings What's that? Can I look at the Mm. paintings? Oh, yeah. Um, The paintings, you're not sure as to who has done, who's who's worked on these paintings. Um, You're not familiar with the the name. As the resident painter, do I recognize anything particularly interesting about these paintings? So the paintings on the wall here, these are uh, landscapes. They look as though that they are from this area. Um, Possibly someone that lived here or they commissioned the painting for it here. Um, there is, uh, you know, paintings of the lighthouse. Uh, there is the paintings of the the sea, which you can kind of, you'd take a guess that it might be from the dock here. Those are the two paintings that are in this, in this hallway itself. Um, I'm gonna give a quick bang on the door, a hello, and then I'm gonna take off my boots and my socks and go looking for the living space. Okay. Does does anything look does anything look uh, amiss? Does everything look like it's in place, or does anything look like um, it's out of place? Um, okay. Things things disturbed, or uh, something on the floor maybe that shouldn't be there, or drawers that are opened, or there's anything like boots. that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's some boots there. Give me a spot hit and roll. Okay, and that will be under. Uh, alphabetical order. It is an oh, alphabetical order. I got order. it right here. Sorry. I realized yep. when I said alphabetical order, it's going to sound condescending. No, every, everything should be an alphabetical order, although sciences break down. All right. Okay. And spot Ooh. hidden. Well, no, you, are, you were all the spot hidden, so you got a 30, 30 out oh, okay. of 65, which is, which is a hard success. That's excellent. Um, so... Uh, Theodore put his boots in a in a in a boot tray, and uh, you know socks over the top of them. And, and you notice that there are some boots there, two other boots as well, um, and a pair of indoor shoes that are right next to the tray. So you could possibly slip on those those house shoes if you want. Uh, they might be warm and comfy. Is there? Is there just one pair of indoor shoes, or are there multiple like multiple pairs? There's one pair of indoor shoes left. Yeah, no. I I walk in and I look at Theodore, who's already taken uh, their boots off, and I I will put my boots outside and let okay. the rain kind of fall on it, and then kick them against the outside, knocking the mud off, and keep my boots on. Okay. Um, Bert, yeah, you're you're looking down, and you see about halfway up the 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 hallway up here. You do see that the wood is splintered a little bit in two spots. And as you get a little bit closer, you look, you notice that there's two bullet holes in the wooden floor. Oh my. And further ahead, underneath the door that opens in here, you see that there is a pool of blood. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, um, Mm -hmm. I believe we have a crime scene here. I'm going to ask everybody to not move around very much. And oh, I uh, point crazy. out. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I pull out my badge at that point uh, to you and say, uh, uh, Sir, Burt Macklin, FBI. FBI? Well, right. all right then. <laughs> I, is this your jurisdiction then? Uh, wherever I'm at is my jurisdiction. Well, you don't. Very well. Careful, he might give us jaywalking tickets. <laughs> is that what? Is that what they do here? 
well, listen, if we don't, if it, he points out to the blood right there, says, look, uh, there's going to be a little more than jaywalking going on here. I, I don't think this blood is uh, is here because somebody jaywalked. And plus, there's mm-hmm. two bullets in the wall. Four. Well, lonely um, lighthouse men tend to be pretty uh, stupid. Are you are you armed, sir? I am. Okay. Good. Well, then we should be fine. Well, that's a bold statement. Um, but well, I, I think staying he goes with pers- first in case the murdered or person that did harm is still here. I like that. I think also we should probably get the light up and running quickly, lest we get visitors, more unintended visitors. Well, it, it does that, seem that if we get the light on, uh, we're going to attract a lot of attention, but I suppose it would keep any more ships from crashing. It's the right thing to do. Yes. Hey, you know how to work one of these? Absolutely. There's usually a switch I, that's on and a switch that's off. Well, I hope so. It's it's a, a slightly more complicated than that, but not by much. Um, but yes, let's head up and see if we can turn the light back on. There is the sound of pots and pans crashing um, uh, further on in the hallway off to your left. I pull my weapon. Okay. I duck behind him. I'm going to stand quite far behind him, yes. Okay. And ask Izzy there, it's probably just a drunkard. <laughs> I'm still hanging out by the front door. <laughs> I'm going to slide down the wall a little okay. bit, just, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm in my, uh, uh, you know, black suit, black tie, white shirt, and my um, uh, raincoat, uh, just kind of sliding down the wall. I got my fedora on. It and, occurs uh, to me that we probably didn't need to see your ID. If there was a uniform, <laughs> he's wearing it. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, so I slide down the wall with my uh, firearm in hand. And um, do, is it coming from inside the, uh, the right or the left? A room on the right or the, the left? left or the left, okay. Yes, behind by the, by the, the room that is, uh, that's showing a okay. little bit of blood. I can, right. everyone see, can everyone see the pinging on the map? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I will then slide to the edge of the door frame and see if I can't take a peek around. Okay. It looks to be the kitchen. And at the doorway there, you don't see anything there um, except for a, uh, a pot, like a, a, a sauce pot on the ground and a, another pot like another pan that's been kicked off onto a little island next to the stove. There is a kettle of water on and it starts to whistle. Anything in this pans was like, was the, it looked like food was cooking or, or no. was it just pan empty pans? It's just an empty pot. And you also notice that, that, that there is a door open on the other side of the room that leads outside. Okay. That your mistress just ran off. <laughs> um, Mr. Detective, sir, I, I don't know if this is um okay, but if there's time, do you think we might put on a? Well, I could pour us some tea. It is rather cold. Uh, it's Agent Macklin, ma'am. Uh, not a detective, but uh, yes, please go ahead and uh, uh, feel free to make us some tea. Right. Uh, are there are there cups around or any types of tea, coffee? Yes, there anything is, that would go in water. There is tea. There is Earl Grey tea and um, London Fog style tea, as well as a very nice set of uh, uh, service for eight. Delightful. She'll she'll serve everyone up some tea. We can take it on the go. It's not our tea set after all, and um, we can take it with yeah. us. Is there anything on the floor that would represent a weapon of some kind that maybe was is near the blood at all? Yes. There is the rem- the remnants of a chair. Okay. But nobody. Huh. Nobody. So and, uh, we scared the we scared a mistress who ran off and, and hurt herself on a chair in the process. Real crime scene you got here. <laughs> It's a you know, you, you know, I'm not liking your attitude, buddy. Yeah, I, I'm very at confused all. at how a mistress leaves running off through a chair leaves 
bullet holes behind. Those very... are probably months old. Come on. <laughs> let's leave. Let's leave the detective work to the professionals, okay? Yeah, how, yeah, how, sure, whatever. How recent is the blood, and is there a smell of gunfire? Um, so you don't catch the smell of gunfire where you're at. But uh, give me a first aid or a medicine roll. Um, I'll even let you roll biology. Uh, okay. I'm better in biology than first aid. All right. Mm. I know blood. You know blood. Um, it's fairly it it's fairly new. It's less than an hour old, and okay. there's quite a bit. And uh, the bullet holes are near, in the wall nearby. You know this this blood is doesn't seem to be human blood. Like it looks like somebody maybe gutted a fish here or a pretty large fish. Really? Mhm. I will take a closer look. Are there scales? Give me a uh, spot hidden roll. Spot hidden. All right, while you're doing that, let me get let me find out what's going on with everybody else cuz oh, there's been a lot going on, you know, kind of fast and furious here, you know. Um so, Stuart. Yeah. What is it that you're doing? What are what's going on here? Um, what are you doing? I am shakily drinking a cup of tea. Okay. Um, and uh, I would like to look at this chair a okay. more closely. Um, can I spot hidden on the chair? You don't need a spot hidden on the chair. What is it? What are you trying to find out about the chair? Uh, I want to see if I can determine like the amount of force, maybe. Um, like how thick is this chair and maybe what it would have taken to break it. I don't know if my Well we're not off from appraisal, but it, it is a it is a higher quality wood. Um, you know, looking at the, the kitchen set, I'm not gonna have you you don't need the roll to uh, it's a it's you know, fine quality, uh, sturdy quality. Not fine as in being uh, you know, very expensive, but but sturdy quality and uh, it looks as though that someone used this chair as a bludgeon. Generally over their head, maybe WWE style, and gave somebody a pretty solid smack. No. Um, yeah, I uh, convey this information to the rest of the group. Okay. Um, it looks as though someone has uh, struck someone else with this uh, this chair um, used it as a a club basically um, so um, yes I'll play all around um, it, if I look at the uh, the bullet uh, holes in the wall there can I determine what type of weapon uh, possibly made those holes or whether or not the bu bullets are still in them so it was in the floor, not in the wall. Oh, the floor, sorry, in the floor. That's okay. Um, the they have been buried deep within the floor. Um, it's a small caliber, a small caliber handgun, maybe uh, a thirty-eight. But like a like a yeah, a service revolver of some. A service kind. revolver, yes. Huh. Okay. Not a not a hand cannon, um, bit of service revolver, maybe from someone uh, military or uh, police officer, but nothing, nothing, nothing exceptionally out of the ordinary. Right. Well, based on the information here that you're all talking about, it seems like there was a bit of a tiff here, but nothing that seems particularly concerning for us. I, I feel like we should just continue our way upstairs and stop if anything anything comes up on the way. Is there a light switch in this room 8 section? Here? Yeah. Um, yes, actually, if you if you click and hold on your mouse in the areas that you like, you can also ping. Sweet. Yes, right there. Um, there is uh, a, a button for a light, and it if you hit the button, you hear the cackle of the electricity, and it only lightens up, only enlightens, you know, this general area itself. So not all the way up the the stairs, just just about halfway up. All right, I'm gonna go search for a torch, flashlight, lantern, whatever. Okay. Um, Probably. In here. I'm going to so 
before you get to that point, since you were moving into eight, um, as Lavender is starting to serve tea, I will come forward from the th- from the front door, and seeing that that is the door that is kind of farthest away, like it's opposite of where the bullet mm-hmm. bullets were and the blood and stuff. Uh, I'm going to lean against. Is the door shut or closed? Or the sorry, is, is it shut or open? Um, the door is open. Okay, open slightly. Then, it's not 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 like wide open. Just it's slightly ajar. While while sipping tea, then I will kind of glance in and uh, and you know be be nosy, honestly, and just kind of like see what's inside. And if the other doors, if the uh, doors for I would look at them in order of seven, two, and then four. Okay, so you're going to check out seven first. Yep. If, if the door's already ajar. Yes. Okay. All right. So you you make it you make it to the door and. Um, uh, Theodore is is not far behind you. Um, this room is the larder. You see that there's all kinds of dried can, dried and canned foods. There's pemmican. There's preserved foods. Um, you know enough for someone to be here for for a few months. Um, Theodore, you do see that there are two electric torches, the handheld ones with the d- large deep cell batteries um, on one of the shelves. So they they weigh about you know six to eight pounds. Perfect. So also good for home defense if necessary. In a pinch. I will I will grab one of those uh and then uh and then head towards number two. Then I will grab the other one and start heading up the stairs at a very leisurely pace. I'm also going to go upstairs. Okay. Or um I follow everyone upstairs. Can I take a part of that chair, like your leg? Yeah, yeah. You, you. The the piece of the leg actually Can has it? has two. Yes, you, has two nails um, sticking out of it. Um, that looks as though that might have been utilized as a uh, as part of the uh, the attack as well. So you're now holding on to a possible murder weapon, but that's okay. Dun dun dun. <laughs> So put that down. You could get your fingerprints all over that. Fingerprinting oh, is all over it. Then. Oh, it's not a thing yet. Yeah, not really a thing yet. It's just started. It's Ooh, just yeah, started. Fingerprints. I'll rub them out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you start to make your way up the stairs, and uh, the metal staircase creaks. With each step that you take, as it as it uh, uh, travels, as it spirals up, as it uh, gets closer to the top, there is a bit of a wind blowing um, here, and and some rain coming down. Normally, you would expect this to kind of be almost enclosed, um, but it seems that something's gone something's gone wrong upstairs. I and still have my weapon going. Okay. Who's leading? Uh, I think I am. Okay. Yep. I he is. Fortune. I don't. I don't Got care. It. <laughs> <laughs> I will be bringing up the rear with All my right. torch and my tea. My torch and my tea. That is such a 1920s thing and or Lovecraftian thing I've ever heard. Um. You make it into the lantern gallery. So the lantern gallery is the the next stop before the very top. There is a quite a bit of uh, uh, glass and oil here. Um, you know, there are some some glass panes that are uh, that have been hauled up like spares, and there are uh, jars of oil. There is a pulley system that runs down the middle of this that you really didn't see beforehand because um, they've actually. Uh, carried it all the way up to the top here. Um, there is one more area of uh, one more area to go to get up to the top. And um, as you crest the crest into that room, ahead of you, you see that there are that there is uh, shattered glass all along the floor, and a the two men uh, lying face down. One of them is outside in the rain on the, the balcony, and one is inside. 
I check uh, for pulses. Yeah, I'm going to freeze up. <laughs> yeah, dead body. Um, so you head out, head over to the one that's inside. He does not have a pulse. Um, you going to roll him over, or? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can help roll him over if, if you need any assistance. Yes, please. Just okay. be careful. So I'm not sure if you if you heard they they went up to the the lighthouse. They're at the top of the lighthouse now. Um, so you flip him over. Um, Stuart, this is your friend George. I guess. Um, because everyone, this is not something that most folks are used to. Everyone except for Bert, give me a sanity roll. Done that. Find my sanity, Dan. Perfect. That's just how I was rolled today. Okay, good. So, Alexander and... Where do I find the sanity? Sorry. A, it, that's okay, it's at the top. I've lost my sanity, Dan. <laughs> I've quite it's, lost it's my sanity. Ah, here we like go. like hit points. So Indeed, it's, where is it? thank you. Oh, it's up on the top. Uh... Not a problem. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, so Alexander and uh, Theodore, um, this this scene is 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 very unsettling to you. Um, you you're not sure as to what you know how it how it's really going to play into things. I need for you to both make a intelligence roll. Let's see if you kind of grasp the the horror of it. So, Alexander starts rattling off in French, and if you don't speak French, you're not sure what he's saying, but you're pretty sure it's not good. But your brain doesn't really grab onto the severity or the the horror of what's going on there, so you don't lose sanity points here. Oh, gotcha, okay. It's a two-step three through failure. <laughs> yes, um, your brain, your your it's your brain self-defense mechanism that is like, nope, we're not going to process this shit right now. We'll process it later on. So it does. It's almost like a um, in-game mechanic of repression. Can I go check out my friend's corpse? Yes, you can. Um, um, I would actually presume that you would have done that. Uh, just so it's explicit. Yeah. Um, I kneel down beside George and I uh, rummage through his pockets. Okay. He has underneath his shirt a large, a heavy purse. Um, it's it's made of suede and it's tied to a leather cord. Um, he also has a, a service revolver, a uh, very much like a Western six shooter. Um, is firmly in his hands. His hands um, are still warm. He always did have warm hands. Um, can I try to do everything that I'm doing, like, sort of overtly, sleight of hand, like I'm just like, oh, George, my friend, but, like, I'm really, like, just trying to get the <laughs> stuff that I know is going to be there? Sure. Um, of hand is and that is, is, is there any sign that he knows... That he knows who that is. What I, what I, is he giving off any any sign that he knows? He, yes, he actually said he he said his name. Yeah, like I'm not trying oh, to be did. like secretive that like I know this person, and I'm I'm trying to like use that as like a distraction from what I'm. All right, so give me a sleight of hand roll. Not my best. <laughs> not, not, not so great there. Everyone that's okay. sees it, but yeah. I guess you know I'm just who I am. He he takes a a large purse that's that's on a heavy thick leather cord from around George's neck. What do you what have? You, uh, what do you have there? Oh, oh, um, well, my my friend George, um, 
You always put something away for a rainy day, and seeing as how it's quite rainy, I figured he would want me to have it. Can I... Is there like an equivalent to uh, deception or... Yeah. Yes, there is. I use... So, we've got fast talk. talk. Fast talk. Off my game. No, I don't think you're handling this quite well. It's understandable. What? What did you say that you and your friend did again? Was he the light keeper here? Oh no 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 no. Um, we were we went to uh, antiques, uh, selling and uh, procuring uh, antiques. Bert, there's still another body. Oh. What? Yeah, I was, I was just about to say I was going to go outside and look at that body and, and check the pulse on that as well. Okay. So um, while uh, Stuart and uh, Stuart's trying to talk his way through this and not doing very well, um, you know, with, with uh, Lavender and uh, Alexandre and, uh, there and, and Theodore kind of just dead bodies, man. They were shot. Um, Bert. Uh, this guy is wearing like a yellow fisherman's uh, like rubber coat Mm -hmm. and you go to like reach for a pulse and their neck is kind of sticky like unlike skin and then you kind of move them move them aside and, and as soon as the lightning strikes you actually see he has a fish-like face and oh large, my. large webbed feet. This, my friend, is going to require a sanity roll for you. Okay. Let's see. Is that a regular, hard, extreme? So you'll just roll your sanity. So just uh, just click okay. on the, that, that box itself. Let's see, sanity is at the top. Uh, strength, appearance, education, power, luck. And oh, sanity! Right I see that. it. Yep, I see it. Excellent. All right, you hold on to everything. You're like, <gasps> now you do suffer <laughs> one. You do suffer one point of sanity loss because this is a uh, mythos creature, so that do, it does go down by one. Um, okay. So that means that even even future uh, rolls are going to be harder to make because. It goes down by one. Um, um, is he part? Is it part human, part fish, or is it all human, or is it all fish? So, it has bulging eyes. It has the jowls of uh, like an like a large mouth bass. Um, its skin is kind of gray. It is scaly. Um, the eyes are are sightless, and they're they're kind of what throw you off the most is because. You know, you've seen people with with jowls, and you've seen, you know, bloated bodies being gray, but not not those eyes. Um, it's a. Uh, it looks as though that he also has received a a bullet wound underneath his left eye, and uh, quite a few bullet wounds to the chest. So is there is. Wear- there is no no pulse. He's just wearing a coat. Okay, so I was going to say there is no clothes. Uh, he's just wearing the coat, but there's no clothes or pockets or mm-hmm. anything Correct. like that. Are there pockets in the coat? Yes. Okay, well, I'd like to go ahead and check the pockets in the coat then for any possible ID or something I would think of. You pull out a large coin, a large gold coin. It's about two inches in, two to three inches uh, in diameter. On one side, it has a triangle with an eye and tentacles off of it, and on the inverse size, it has a uh, an obelisk. Okay. I stare at it. It doesn't doesn't ring any bells. I would imagine. It just look. Is it made of gold or is it made it of is. what is it? It looks like it it's is. made of gold. Now, if somebody had a praise. <laughs> or if somebody do was I an antique him, dealer. Do I see what he's looking at? I've been yeah. eyeing this I, giant between, gold coin. The between whole time. us kind of confronting each other, do either of us see the golden coin? 
I will say that 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 yes, everyone everyone kind of sees him pull up the gold coin, especially in the lightning. Oh, I was gonna say, is there any way to do sleight of hand? There is, yeah. You can roll sleight of hand. Let's see if it. Let's see if uh, if you succeed and if they uh, <laughs> if they see it. Nope, it's right out in the middle. Bert, actually, you go to sleight of hand it because that's considered that's close to a critical failure. So yeah. you pick it up and it slips out of your hand. Oh, oh, and oh, goes oh. tink, 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 off the edge of the off the edge of the lighthouse. No. What? I hear gold. <laughs> I, that was that gold dropping. That off? sounds like gold from a ship to me, and I will. Start heading down as well. Oh, now, oh, can I scurry down the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> there, there is something to be said about this. When you flip a silver coin or when you flip a gold coin, one way to test it, uh, test what it's made of, uh, silver will whistle differently than gold. Gold will also whistle, but it's at a, it's at a slightly different tone. The the appraiser hears that it's gold. That's a that's a. The silver, the silver is science. The 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 gold is almost pseudoscience. But yeah, silver <laughs> silver will will whistle when it's flipped. Um, I'm racing uh, Alexander downstairs. I guess I don't know. Oh, is everyone going downstairs? Through this time, uh, Lavender's been painting the scene. She's really quite inspired by the gruesome and macabre. Um, <laughs> It's it's really been a time, but she doesn't want to be in this room by herself. So if everyone's leaving, she'll reluctantly leave she, as well. She, she, it, Bert looked at you and says, "Hey, listen, all that artistry—that's evidence." Uh, Teddy hasn't moved an inch since he saw that body. <laughs> yeah. I think you should be paying more attention to that that scared individual over there rather than my artwork. She'll return to painting. Okay. Um, you lost your video, Paul. Oh. Am I back? All right. Yeah, you're back. Okay. All right, so Teddy, you haven't moved. Are we going to call him Teddy? Eh, whatever. All right. I, I think Teddy in Massachusetts kind of fits. Yeah. You know, Teddy yeah. Kennedy. <laughs> All right. Um, the... Did I misspell sailor on your character sheet? I did. Uh, yes. I need. I. I appreciate it. He wrote his own character sheet. A bit. Sorry. All right, I fixed it. Sorry, that was gonna bother me. Um, the. Uh, so you two are heading. You two are kind of racing down, or the three of you racing down. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm yeah, I'm racing down as well. Uh, I kind of I spoke, I, I spoke to her in passing and said, "Hey, that's evidence," and then came down. Okay, so that leaves Lavender and Teddy upstairs. Um, if they're going down, I suppose Lavender will gather her things with a reluctant sigh, and she'll go ahead and sort of tap Teddy along um, and say, "Well, let let's get away from here, shall we?" Teddy suddenly comes back into himself, and you see the telltale signs of throw up, and then he grabs the nearest railing and pukes over it. <sighs> Give me a luck roll. A uh, luck roll, you said? Yeah. Jar. Yeah, Patrick, you know where this is going, right? <laughs> 98. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Um... Me right. You were great on, uh, great in the water. On land, not so much. Just like you said. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> you know, it's like as though that you've got your your land legs and your sea legs back, and uh, yeah, you 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 vomit over the uh, you vomit over the edge. You look down and you you see that you know uh, a co your compatriots. Well, actually, they depends on how they get down there. Um, how long it takes? It's going to take you a little bit of time, or is it a quick one? Uh, it's, it's a quick one. Quick one. Um, okay. If Alexander and I like wedge each other into the door as we're trying to get through the the door jam at the same time, it takes me like a couple seconds to realize, you know, that, that I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really tall tower. Like we might be running down, but I. How many flights of stairs is that? I mean, that's 
three or four stories, right? And it's eight stories, actually. It's 80 feet. Yeah, I... Would, do we need to make luck rolls or dexterity checks? or? <laughs> actually, I would like both of you to roll dexterity because you're both racing down. Ooh. All right. Wow. Alexander makes it, um, you know, ekes out ahead and... Um, Stuart, your your feet kind of give way underneath you on these spiral staircases, and you take the last thirty feet on your on your on your behind, uh-huh. as you as you kind of bounce your way down. Yeah, it's over tea kettle. Yeah, no, no, just you didn't you didn't pitch over. You okay. you kind of you kind of landed. You kind of rode rode him down on your butt like you did when you were your little kid, but it hurts. <laughs> you know, it's gonna hurt enough that you got a hit point that that there's a hit point loss because these are metal steps. Got you. Mm-hmm. Oh. From above, as yeah, we go down the stairs at a much slower pace, Lavender will just go, ah, he's having a bad day, isn't he? Oh, I ain't never seen a body before. Ugh. Hang in there, chap, it'll be alright. Don't worry, I've seen enough bodies for the both of us. <laughs> So, Alexander, you make it. You make it down to the bottom. Um, the quickest way out would be through the kitchen. Yep, going out through the kitchen. Uh, then I will go through the doors, through the kitchen. Okay. Ignoring the fact that that's totally where a murderer possibly went. I, I don't know the full details of what happened upstairs. So, uh, yeah, running out the kitchen door. All right. So, you may around the corner and you look up to see where it was at and uh you you're you're scouring the ground give me a spot hit and roll okay you're not seeing it um and the rain's still coming down and uh, you think you hear something snap in the brush not far from where you're at. I turn on the torch and okay. shine at the brush. Okay. Obviously showing priorities over using the torch to find a golden coin. <laughs> <laughs> when you do, you see a bunch of very large, a bunch, meaning, you know, four or more sets of large golden eyes looking back at you. Mm. And they all stand up to full height and they're a bit taller than the average man and they're all green and scaly and um, with the yellow underbelly so go ahead and give me a sanity roll as you now see a whole bunch of youngling deep ones oh sweet you're able to hold on to your uh, your facilities Um, would you like to wheel around and go back into the building oh yeah I take a couple of steps back and then immediately spin on my heel back in and I slam the door shut probably right. risking running into uh, into Stuart on the way Stuart give me a luck roll as you're as you're about to uh, run outside um. hmm. oh, poor kid. Should there some, be something in luck? Should I have a number there? Oh, uh, 50. You may have to kick it into edit mode. Yeah, that. Oh. Uh, so yeah. close. So, so close. So very close. You round the corner and, uh, sp- and smash directly into um, Alexandra. Um, knocking him against the door, and the door the door closes behind him, and uh, you both end up, uh, you know, uh, on your feet. Yeah, you've you've knocked heads. I that that I you may want to wait until the the rain stops. Yeah, sorry, right. sorry about that. You'll you'll it's fine. You'll live. Uh, there's a. I don't know. You just don't want to go out there. It's it's not it's not pleasant right now. But what what do you mean by that? What did you see out there? Did you find the coin? 
Uh, I didn't. I didn't find the coin. Uh, there's really big green golden eye things. People, something like eyes, like staring from there. And I. I think it's safer in here. I. Uh, there is a window above the the stove, like off to one side of the stove, underneath the sink. Or above the sink, excuse me. Yeah, under the sink. Above the <laughs> sink. Uh, I will take a look out the window. Okay. You see in the in the darkness outside, you see things moving. Um, you count maybe five or six. Nope, nope, there's eight. Eight, eight things moving outside. I'm going to lock the door. With what? You don't have the key. Uh... Uh, is there is there a bookcase around we could push in front of the door? There is a bookcase in the library, which is uh, the room off off in the direction more toward the east. Well, I know a thing or two about uh, closing doors when you have no lock. Let's grab that bookcase, shall we? Or there's a there is also a table and some chairs. But yeah, you can grab the bookcase. Um, anyone want to help me do this? I sure, I'm with you right now, right? <laughs> All right, oh, I'll be kind of long to move this bookcase. I don't know what's out there, but they seem rather spooked, so rather not risk it. Um, you get to the bookcase, and, and you see that on the bookcase, alongside you know, a bunch of books that are there, there are a bunch of uh, canvases with uh, watercolor paintings uh, currently in the bookcase as well. I will, I will gingerly <laughs> remove those uh, with the greatest del- delicacy I can manage while also moving quickly to move them to the side so we can grab the bookcase. Okay. All right. So um, I would like both of you to roll a, uh, make a strength roll. You are so ready. Dylan, um, all of those rolls are gone. <laughs> all of the good rolls are gone for you I tonight. Love it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> strength. Mm-hmm. Should be to- toward the top of the page. Ah. There we are. Your Teddy's mind is just not in it. Like he's being distracted by every everything. I I go to lift it and I actually just like don't have one hand on it and kind of stumble over into the hallway. <laughs> uh, I I will slip in and um, see if I can't. Well, set him down, or if he's if he's kind of you know looking like he's going to be passing out or anything like that. Okay, pale white La- face. Yeah. <laughs> Lavender, you you pull the 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 bookcase. You show them. So I have to work out to keep my painting arm strong. <laughs> <laughs> you prop the prop the uh, the the bookcase up against the the door with ease. Um, yeah, you guys see see the the this this one walk by carrying carrying a bookcase and be like but and puts it down. Hey, <laughs> right, right, Stuart, I, my apologies. Uh, and I kind of whisper quietly, "You have a you have the gun off your friend, right?" Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, uh, we should go turn the light back on uh, and let people know right. that there's stuff going on. And I start heading up the stairs again. I haven't had enough exactly. exercise yet. I glance back at the door, here. which is my pathway to this giant gold coin, and then I begrudgingly follow them up. You have the purse. You have mm-hmm. his heavy purse. Are you going to look inside the heavy purse? As I'm walking up the stairs behind him, there's a, about a dozen, uh, about a dozen and a half of those same gold coins. <laughs> draw the drawstring. Tuck it down my pants. <laughs> All right. So you guys, you guys uh, head upstairs. Um, we're splitting the party, which is something I absolutely love in Call of Cthulhu. Um, it's one of my greatest joys because nothing bad ever goes wrong in this game. No. So uh, who's so who's where? Who's All upstairs? Right. Who's going upstairs? Who's downstairs? Patrick and Alexander are, are, excuse me, Stuart and Alexander are, are going upstairs. 
Uh, Bert, Lavender, and Teddy are downstairs. Yeah. You're you're tending to Teddy. Teddy seems to finally be maybe maybe shaking it in the. Uh, you've got night. You've got warm cup of tea. Warm cup of tea. It's helping a lot. <laughs> Bert, Bert says, "Are you are, are you going to be okay?" I, 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 I think so. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you need to snap to it. We're what, gonna need all. We're gonna need all hands on deck here. What's happening? What what happened? Who killed that man? Well, we don't know yet. We we don't. Uh, we, it looks like they uh, the struggle between them uh, looks like they shot each other. But we don't. We haven't. We haven't. Uh, we haven't figured out everything. But there's something strange going on outside as well. So we're gonna, right. we're gonna have to keep our eyes open. Give me a minute, and I'll. Uh help you guys out with the lights. <sighs> All right, you, you, you gather yourself, you take a nice, take a nice good big, big lug. Um, so uh, Lavender, you've got a nice, a nice collection of uh, paintings here if you wanted to, and you have, a, and you have a cup of tea. Perfect. I don't have any audio. We can't hear you. Nope, not you. Yeah. yeah. Is there any liquor around, by the way? Do I see any bottles of uh, anything? Not out in the open. Okay. You did this fix have it? An- yes. That fixes it, yes. Lovely. Don't know what I did. Um, I will peruse the paintings, but I'm also just sort of keeping an eye out for the door because it's not exactly the, the best barricaded, and I'm still very unclear on what's up there. Um, so... The first couple paintings, because there's about a half dozen or there's six of them here. Um, the first two are landscapes similar to the one that you saw, you know, uh, or landscapes are just the, the waterscape. Um, one, the next one is a large, it, it's a painting of a plinth with a eye in the middle with tentacles coming all off of it. Um, and some writing underneath. Um, it uses blacks and greens and, and a highlight of purple here. And it looks as though there are people gathered around the bottom of the plinth. The fourth one is a, um, it looks as though it's a painting out the window of this room. As you see that there's a, the, like the window frame and the brush. And it looks as though there are yellow eyes lurking in the brush outside the window in the in the painting itself. Ah, quite inspired. What's what's the sixth one? A large fish-like creature that has or a frog-like creature that has a fish-like tail, almost like a uh, a tadpole that's that's growing into a frog. Mm. Um, but the tail itself is split. Sadly, we lost a marine biologist. Um, for them to tell you that this is unlike any other creature uh, known to man um, and to let the players but not the characters know that it is a painting of Father Dagon well it appears whoever was staying here must have been a bit stir crazy staying in a lighthouse all the time they were quite inspired Um, she thinks these are very interesting she also does not think anything particular about them yet uh, but I imagine the interesting one she's probably rolled them up and stuck them in her bag for now uh, she wants to look at them more later when things have calmed down okay um, Teddy next to you you know if you put your 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 mug down or your 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 coffee cup down you see that there is a book on the end table right next to the chair and it is a antique coin pricing book um, from uh, 1924. So a few years old, but still a pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, uh, you know, uh, pretty good reference. And there's that also could, a mug there. What's that? That could be useful later. <laughs> there's also a coffee or uh, uh, a tea. A teacup on there as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not yours. But it, was, it was it was there, but kind of glance over. Yeah, there's there's a teacup, and it's still a little warm. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to shake my head, going back with my mistress theory from before. Um, <laughs> and, you know, that explains half of this stuff, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Depends on what, what you know, the, the you mistress really that you're into. You really squint. It You're going to ride sense. that train all the way to the end, aren't you? Oh, yep. I'm going to start making my way back up to the uh, top to see if I can help him with the actual beacon. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, i like to go ahead and if I can just move the table and chairs to maybe secure the door a little bit better. Okay. You move You move in front of the door. Um, you pretty confident, though, that she had covered covered the door quite well. Okay. It's not going anywhere. It was a heavy bookcase that was just that that she put down. Um, and uh, but you know, moving the chairs, not a bad idea. Um, as you come by the window, lightning cracks because it is light, lit inside here, but dark outside, and you see two bright eyes looking in the window with with their hands, but their hands have claws, covering their eyes to try to see inside. Do we see that downstairs? All of us see that downstairs? You see that. Okay. Well, uh, I draw my weapon, and I, I'm going to take a shot out the window. Okay. Go ahead and give me a firearms, a pistol roll. Oh, boy. Let's see here. Firearms, skill one. Or handgun. Handgun. Yeah. Roll. There we go. Oh. oh. All right. You let loose. Uh, you pull the trigger, and uh, the the glass shatters. The noise of the of the firearm goes off in the room, and actually everyone hears it. It jars at everyone. Um, but you're not sure that you 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 hit. You know what you drew upon, um, what you fired at. Um, you think they might have, you know, jumped out of the way or moved out of the way because they saw your hand come up. Upstairs, screen wipe to those guys upstairs. You guys make it up to the top. <clears throat> and uh, your buddy George is, is dead on the ground. There is the uh, creature out, outside. Well, there's another body outside. And then there is the, the light. Are you guys actually up here to fix the light? I, as we're heading up the stairs, I will ask Stuart, uh, so do you know how to use the gun? It's really yes. I mean, trigger, barrel, bullets. Yeah, simple. Right. Um, okay. So no, not, you not don't. Especially, no. Do you? Okay. I I do I do a little bit, but I am going to try to fix the light. So, I you can either shoot something if it comes up because those things were terrifying, um, nice. or uh, or let me know and I can have the gun. But I I will not be able to handle the gun well as I'm trying to repair the light. Of course. Of course. Um, no, I will, uh, yes, I, I will post as a guard while you fix it. And I will start to try to fix the light. Mechanical, yeah, while he's doing that. Mechanical okay. repair. All right, as he's doing that, go ahead. Uh, can I pull out one of these coins and, like, really give it a once-over? Yeah, you, you look at it. It's, it's gold. It's, mm -hmm. you've not seen this, this stamp um, you think it might be um, maybe an Eastern Semitic uh, iconography, mm -hmm. but without being able to uh, reference, you know, some kind of history book or or something along those lines. This is outside your realm, but the fact that the by weight and by touch, this is this is an, solid. This is solid gold, and you've got quite a bit. Boy. So, do I on the mechanical roll? Sorry, I know I haven't made it yet. Mm -hmm. If I want to use luck, can I use that before or after I roll? So you use it afterward. So okay. you actually buy down. If you miss your roll, you're able to spend luck to buy down to what your uh, ability is. You don't need to. All right. Um. What is a hard success? Is that a 
um, that's like an act that's like a hard success is like almost like a critical success. It's uh, um, generally it's half, means that you've done well. Okay, I because I am in a rush, I will go ahead and burn the luck to do this in a rush uh, and spend the 14 points to buy it down to a hard success. Okay. All right, so that'll cut the time down from 40 minutes to 20. Okay. Um, you were able to actually get the 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 replacement lens, which was on the, the floor below, which we talked about earlier. Okay. And uh, it takes a little bit of time, and you kind of you pick it up and you heave and get it get it all all going with the you know the the missing missing item um and before you get to that you hear hey don't you eat my <laughs> sorry bunny rabbit shoot it Stuart. Shoot, shoot it, it. Don't you eat mine. shoot it shoot it <laughs> It's Whatever it's eating, it's shoot a, it. It's a red, it's a gold-eyed frog. Get it. <laughs> we, I have a, 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 a pretty much a zoo here. We've got cat, five dogs, a <sighs> rabbit, um, a ball python, and a gecko. And right now, up here, upstairs, is the time for the rabbit to be running around. And he decided that he wanted to try to eat my... Post- no, don't eat my stuff. He wanted to eat my uh, my newest uh, 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 delivery package that I got that I might new kilts in it. So, yeah, no. Bad bun bun. Um, you hear the gunfire go off from downstairs. And, uh, Teddy, you were on your way walking upstairs when that goes off. Alright. Um, I suppose I'm going to bolt around and try to meet up with Lavender. Okay. Lavender's first response upon hearing the gunshot is to hit the ground. Um, okay. I imagine once there's been a moment of silence, she's going to slowly creep around um, and call out. Um, d- detective, sir? Uh, yes, 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 Miss Lavender. Yes, um, that gunfire there, was that you? Uh, yes, it was. Well, Are you crazy? Why? No, I'm not crazy. There's things out there. There's things out there with these crazy looking eyes and these crazy looking claws. I don't know what's going on here, but Eddie, but uh, Eddie, you're in the hallway and you see the front door start to open. What? <laughs> that door, 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 door. I'm going to drop my lantern and push against it the other okay. direction. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a strength roll. Alright. Let's see if I trip over that lantern. No, I nope. didn't. <laughs> there you go, Teddy. <laughs> that tea was helping you, buddy. You run and you push on the you push on the door and, and something's pushing hard against it. Um, actually, your initial push pushes them back, but they're pushing so this way you can't latch it closed. But you finally get it, get it closed and it clicks and something is is jiggling the doorknob trying to trying to push open the door and you're you're holding against it um you see to your left a ring of keys a key ring excuse me hanging on hanging on a hook age 11 that's someone keys Um, keys keys uh lavender will (laughs) attempt to grab the keys teddy has gone monosyllabic I will help. I will help push against the door and l- allow Miss Lavender to lock the door. Okay. All right. So you're able to push, push, uh, keep the door closed, Lavender. You're able to. It takes you a couple moments to figure out which keys which, and then you realize these keys might work on the other door too, and uh, yeah. it does lock the, it does lock the door, and then you hear, like, hear the jingling, of the, of the doorknob itself. You know, like kind of forcefully, and something pounding at the door. What is it out there? Did you see it, Teddy? Oh no, 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 no! I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I don't want to know what it is. Well, I, I have to imagine it's some sort of a person. I uh, know he said crazy eyes. I, I this must be like a a, a, a mermaid. A, a, I don't know well, a sea monster. Wonderful! I'm here with an unhinged detective, a mercenary of some sort who's terrible at lying. And well, I'm not quite sure about everyone else yet, but I 
I think we should all head upstairs regardless. I'm just a fisherman. <laughs> That's point, all you really uh, wanted, right? Sure you are, Teddy. Sure you are. Just a simple fisherman, right? Um, at some point during all of that, uh, I think Stuart would have called down uh, the stairwell. Everything all right down there? Don't worry about us. You'll get that light working. I like it. I'm working on it right now. Well, you better hurry. I you think we should as like that. Be patient. <laughs> you, I, at, at least say we. I, I, I meant we. <laughs> 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 the royal eye, you know. <laughs> Um, Stuart, give me a spot hidden roll as you're as you're standing there and you're talking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Mm-hmm. Or oh no, I'm not sure which. It's so probably terrible. Alexander is 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 putting this large uh, glass lens, and it's about four foot wide, mm-hmm. onto, you know, onto the 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 beacon itself. Um, and you're still kind of keeping watch. You look over and you see two hands and a head pa- are, are pulling themselves up over the ledge of the balcony outside. Um, Alexander. Good man. Um, what? How, do you feel about, how do you feel about profanity? <laughs> I start... I, I start swearing in French and just like I don't care. Wonderful, this- wonderful. Um, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna start uh, uh, just squeezing off rounds. Okay. Uh, I don't. I really thought someone was just. Oh, that's not my dog. Like that's somebody else's dog this time. Sorry. <laughs> it sound like a dog to manager. <laughs> That's the stream sensor working. It just starts barking. Um, uh, I don't have a gun in my things. Um, do I just use a handgun? Yes, the handgun's gun. And we'll figure out damage. Of course. Well, that's okay. Because as you pull the trigger, you, you pretty much have them dead to rights, and nothing happens. Like, you go, it clicks, clicks. Your good friend emptied the emptied all of his rounds into the other one. You can still your use hand, the guns as your clubs. Hand, your handgun is currently empty. I only pocket my handgun, <laughs> and I pull out my improvised club with the uh, okay. nails sticking out. Yeah, you grab the club. It was uh, you. You kind of put it on the ground when you came up here. So yeah, you pick it. Um, you I pick don't know it up. How radiating action works here, but. <laughs> um, does it give me a bonus? To hit? Not to hit, but to. Uh, it would be to damage. Oh. Yes, because it would be one. D- uh, it's going to be one d six plus one if you hit it with the hit it with the club as it's pulling itself now over. Because right. you clicked and then you were like, "Wait a second, there was supposed to be a kaboom. Where was the kaboom? No kaboom. No boom boom. Oh no. Um, I'm. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Here. Oh, here. Here. <laughs> So cue the barking dogs as you're hitting it. That's what's happening. <laughs> so go ahead and roll one d six plus one. Um, are you? Do you know how to roll? Do that through the dice mechanic and roll twenty. Nope. Okay, on the Is left hand like side. R slash. No, 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 slash slash R d six plus one. You you could do that, Not or there. if you look on the left hand side of the screen, there is a white bar. Oh, over here. And one, and you should see a d twenty. And if you hover over it, there should be d six. Uh huh. Five, six. So you did six points of damage to it. Nice. Did he let go? That's what we're going to find out here in a second. Because he has to roll strength. Just so everybody knows what it is that we're looking at. Handsome. Yes. It's a lovely... Lovely, fun creature. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so you've smacked it. And 
actually so when you hit it um the nail sticks in it and it starts and its hands kind of let go and the you rolled well enough that you're able to pull the pull the the board back out but it just releases and falls back uh and uh, hits the hits the mud with the thud um is anybody in the kitchen Bert, you, were, um, you were close to the kitchen last. I'm close. To, I, yeah, I'm close to the kitchen because I had gotten the um, chairs out of there and, and whatever. And then I took that one shot we in the hallway. We were hallway. locking the door, or the kitchen door. Yeah, that's right. right. We oh yeah, you guys were locking. Door. You guys were locking the the main hallway door. Okay, so yeah, nobody's in the kitchen. All right. Otherwise, somebody would hurt a, a a splat and a thud as the the youngling fell from the fell from the top of the the beacon. Um. Yeah, Alexander. Something's going on over there while you're trying to uh, fix this. Sure really heavy piece of glass are, are you okay Stuart like I'm trying not to let it distract me too much I'm just Wait, like no, no, no. Are, are you okay busy. I'm fine okay We're you fine, tell me dude. if you're dead right how are you <laughs> yeah. putting the glass on oh, all right so you're you're working on uh winding yeah it, I'm, winding I'm gonna it try to focus on the light just as much to be like this is we need a rescue as anything okay else all right. Sadly, this is going to take you kind of out of the action while you're doing the doing the work here. Yep. All right. Um, downstairs, the door begins to splinter. Oh, handsome kitty. And uh, you hear glass shatter in the room to your left. The room that you guys are, yeah, the room to your left. The room that you guys have not been in. In. Um, I rush over to that room in this with my... Room. Yes. Okay. Yes, rush over to the room where I, where I hear the noise. Okay. This is a bedroom. Um, this is the bunk room, and you see that it's, uh, uh, you know, has a, a couple of foot lockers and, and uh, three beds and uh, some, uh, some dressers. Um, but most importantly, you see the head and shoulders of one of those creatures crawling through one of the windows. Oh, oh no. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm afraid so, yes sir. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna have to take a shot at that. Okay. While he's doing that, if I run into the kitchen, can I find a knife? Yes, actually there is a knife in the kitchen in one of the drawers. Pull it open. I would love to grab a knife. You have a knife. Um and all right and so go ahead and roll for damage for me. You see where the damage is on the character sheet for the for the gun? Um, under skills still, or is it? No, it's it's probably on page two under combat. Ah, gotcha. Okay, uh, dodge build damage. Uh, okay, uh, third A revolver. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to roll. Oh, the damage. You roll the ten. All right, so, um, yeah, you you put a bullet into him, and uh, he does not seem to be moving. Um, there is quite a bit of blood coming pouring down into the the window pane itself, but he is now blocking the window pane. These are not small creatures. They're, yeah. not, they're not exceptionally large, but they're not small either. But they are able to crawl through windows. Except this window is now blocked. The door, um, the front door is is kind of cracking a bit at the top. As they're they're pounding into it. This is I'm where gonna, the this is where the the bookshelf was. No, no, no. The main hallway. So the you ran off hall. to the yeah. You ran off to the other room, um, and uh, Teddy uh, is a, still in this room. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna pick up my lantern again. Okay. And uh, get ready for the old baseball pitch. <laughs> okay. Go like the, you know back here or. I, I don't remember which button pinks. There we go. Left button. Yeah, left trigger. All you have to do is hold on left the uh, left. Yeah, left trigger. Left uh, left click. Um, so yeah, you're you're a bit of a distance away. The door opens up um, with a with a, a slam. It doesn't break off the hinges. It just breaks off the the locking mechanism, and you see heads upon heads, and they go back three or four deep. There's there's a lot of them, and. You're gonna throw the the lantern at him. That was the plan. <laughs> do you wish to continue with this plan, or do you wish to make a new plan? 
Um, I think I should be making a new plan, unless I have to make a sanity check. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you're you're kind of uh, you're you're not gonna break down in in tears right now because you're running on adrenaline. All right, perfect. Okay. Um, there's still kind of the remnants of a door there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the 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 locking mechanism is gone. The locking mechanism is gone. Yes, it's been beaten out of the door jam itself. So. The door could possibly hold if you hold again if you push it against the door, like if you push it closed. All right, I'm gonna tell everyone to run, and then I'm gonna try to drop kick this door to open the opposite direction it's supposed to. Okay. Um. Let's at go the, the point wall. where like they're getting through it, you know, mm-hmm. like the, when the door is really compromised. I'm gonna try to yeah. use it. The remainder of it as a weapon against them. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a brawl roll. All right, that sounds reasonable to me. This was a terrible idea in the real li- real world. So. <laughs> <laughs> if he well, shouts to run, it. I will run up the stairs. Okay. I uh, I will remain downstairs just to watch what happens. And I will I will try to. Uh, oh my. So. You you hit the door. You hit the door with both feet, trying trying to, to to stop it. It pushes the door back, but not enough. You land on the ground, and the door gets slammed against you yourself. As you see this horde of these horde of these creatures start to pour into the room. Oh, uh, I'm gonna try to can I can I try to run and grab him and maybe pick him up like by his by his neck and kind of drag him back away from the door. There's one already o- over the top of them already. It it might be too late. Maybe if you if you get them to uh, I, force off of them, um, you can try that. You can try to do. Let that. me shoot the one that's over him then. Okay. Do not roll a critical failure. Famous last words. Yes. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hey. Hey, Teddy's gonna live. Hopefully. Roll for roll for damage for me. Okay, three points of damage. All right, and uh, you you shoot the, you shoot the one, and he kind of claws, and he's clawing down, um, you know, as he's falling forward onto Teddy. Um, Teddy, we're going to say that it 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 gets a, a you know a swipe at you before we get into the the rest of things here. Come on. Come on, roll for me. I see 71 out of 4. That's oh, there we I are. See. All right, it just didn't populate. So it it strikes and misses at you as you're on you're on the ground. And the others are pushing forward, but they they really can only get like two or three in at a time. And uh, our fantastic artist and uh, artist carrying a her teacup and a knife <laughs> is running up the running up the stairs. Are you is saying anything she, or doing anything besides that? Or she is. She, funnily enough, I think she's the only one so far that has not actually seen any of these creatures. Uh, she's not entirely convinced that this isn't some sort of weird, elaborate prank sort of a situation. Um, She's rather disheveled from the rain and humidity. She has like big, frizzy, curly hair. Um, her whatever makeup she had is just run down her face. She's got her knife and she's just running up the stairs. She's she's figuring whatever's going wrong. Maybe she can get away from it up there. Okay. All right. Um, you guys that are upstairs, uh, uh, you're you're still fixing things um you just started to pour the oil and uh there is a primer you know thing that you have to to pump and a basically a switch that you have to throw uh for the light to go on um Stuart, what are you doing uh, um sorry i have an idea in my head but uh as uh, lavender is coming up the stairs with 
her knife and her hair and her war paint. Uh, Stuart's just not ready for it. And just like, oh, no. <laughs> like as she comes up with thing, um, <laughs> like drops his uh, improvised weapon. Is like, oh, oh. after death. Huh. Um, and other than that, he's just um, looking out for any other uh, people scaling the tower. Mm -hmm. um, you peer on the outside, and as the lightning strikes, you see that there is about 40 of them outside the house. Just like? Yes. Wow. And it seems like they're they're like now kind of moving toward the front door. Right. Um, Alexander? Y yes. How's the what light coming? Now, it's it's almost yeah. there. I'm. You see this thing? I'm priming this thing. Do you even know what that means? You, um, like he's getting very. No, like, no, I, I have no idea actually. <laughs> um, uh, Ms. Lavender, would you mind? Um, he hands her the the stick with the nails. Do you see any um, odd fellows with big buggy eyes coming over the sides? Hit them with this. It seems to work. And I'm gonna go help uh, Alexander. Okay. <laughs> um, she will accept. She will accept this stick. It does seem perhaps better than her knife, but she will also say, um, um, Stuart, um, I don't know if this is relevant, but, um, well, I did find his paintings, um, I, I thought they were just, uh, something really rather fanciful, but, uh, mm. seems perhaps there's some sort of a ritual or a cult, perhaps, um, well, I'm just thinking if they get up here, um, if there's too many of them, perhaps if we pretended to worship them, um, they might not kill us. Interesting proposal. Um, I don't know. We can certainly try it. Well, I'm not too proud. Uh, you help with the light, but just keep that in mind. Right. So, Alexander, um, have you been in a cult? So, with that, we're going to screen wipe down to the guys down downstairs. Um, <laughs> you're, Bert, you're 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 dragging Teddy. Um. In, are you going to drag him into the uh, into one of the rooms? Or are you guys going to try dragging him upstairs? Uh, if I can, dra you talking about uh, Teddy? Or yes. Yeah, yeah. If I yeah, can is Teddy, drag I Teddy? To, Sorry, I want to try to start something? grabbing him and pulling him upstairs. If I can get him down the hallway and up the stairs and okay, keep him moving that way. All right. Um, are you going to let yourself be drugged? Or are you going to try to stand up on your own? Or uh, I'm I'm in fight mode, so I'm getting up right here. I'm putting up my guards. <laughs> okay. I am gonna keep going back with him, but like, you know, I'm getting to my feet okay. as soon as I got space. Come on, we gotta get upstairs. We're not gonna be able to hold this door. So and they they start to pour and go ahead. I'm going going back with them. <laughs> you guys are fighting your way back and you guys make it to the make it to the spiral staircase and uh they're coming in now they're 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 wide enough that it's only two that could really reach it, you know, uh walk down the hallway here where it would take maybe three people and possibly four so they're quite wide and they're they're shuffling but they're still moving pretty quickly as you guys are are hauling ass back is that is that stair is that stairwell only one at a time yes it's only one wide okay good one one person wide yeah good all right now with this it is currently 700 to 755 for me and well, here in Boston, it's almost 11. Right. <laughs> um, I was going to say, one of the one of the, the things about this game is sometimes you want to leave them wanting more and um, have you guys es es escape to here, and then maybe someday we'll find out what happens. <laughs> but I think I think we're going to end, end the session here as you guys get to get to the edge. So just because we run out of time, if we had another half an hour, be sweet, but. We do have a uh, we do have a little bit of time on on uh, on stream, so I was told I had to keep to my keep to my time window, otherwise I'd get yelled at. Well, no, we're in the safest perfect. place in any horror movie, right? We're in the we're in the top of the building, which nobody can make it to the top of the building. That's right, so. and there's uh, only one real way down, uh, and only one real and, uh, way up, uh, right? <laughs> yes, they're not they're not exclusively the same. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you've ever seen the fog, yeah, um, that that could it could be bad. We'll know, but hopefully these are physical creatures and they can only make their way up the stairs. 
I mean, one of them climbed up the side already. Yeah, we have two ways up. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Really, one way down. So it's, this is like the best in Resident Evil game. Can you, you can just fish in a barrel them. Mm -hmm. um, yep. the it's next. fine. Uh, best uh, situation. But There's he only has maybe. Oh, he only has maybe you know six, eight more shots. Yeah. We gotta get four shots. <laughs> well, uh, it'll, it'll clog up. It'll clog up. It'll clog up the, the stairs enough. If I, if, uh, if, you know, they got to crawl all over each other. We can start using heavy glass down there, like the puke method. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I I support the joining the cult at this point. That sounds like the best <laughs> way to potentially survive. No, no, no. I'm thinking. Oh, look, I'm you thinking, all made it. We're so happy. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm turning. I don't want to be Nick. I don't want to be Nicholas Cage, uh, and you know, at the end of the movie, up in a giant uh, thing, you know, being set on fire or anything like that, <laughs> or, or drowned in the sea. So yeah, or dragged into the sea. All yeah. right. So, um, that's going to be where where I'm going to end end the session. Um, you know, I figure. Uh, you know, leave you guys wanting a little bit more, but you guys got a you guys got a taste of of how Call of Cthulhu um, is run mechanically. Um, there are lots of different types of stories that you can tell. Um, some folks horror allows people to, uh, you know, kind of unmask or, you know, tackle different problems. And so, you know, um, there's lots of ways that people there there's there's a lot of empowerment and a lot of vulnerability that could be done in Call of Cthulhu that you won't find in Dungeons and Dragons and other fantasy games because your characters are human and they're going up against things that are greater than them. Um, oftentimes you're not able to do things by yourself and you have to there there are teamwork aspects to it because you're teaming up against a greater a greater force than your own. So that's one reason why when we were figuring out what games we were going to use, Call of Cthulhu kind of was uh, one of them, you know, at, at the top of the list that some folks might use, whether you like the, the system or the mechanics. The mechanics are quite easy. Um, you know, is most gamers, when they pick up two 10-sided dice, they can figure out percentages. Um, the basic role-playing system is pretty, you know, pretty easy, not, not really crunchy. And, you know, the stories that you can tell, you can keep to the the Cthulhu mythos um, and the nice part is you can also make it your own so you don't have to worry about all of the nasty things um, that Howard Lovecraft espoused because he was not a good person um, he wrote some some interesting stuff I personally don't care for a lot of his his normal writing though he did invoke quite a bit of uh, imagination um, August Derelith uh, and Stephen King and Brian Lumley also contributed to the Cthulhu Mythos, and so you can always build on that or use it for any other, even generic or cosmic horror that you want. So, thank you guys for playing with me. It was lovely meeting you all. Yeah. Um, if you Thanks have any questions, running. always feel free to give me a ring. Um, you know, shoot me a message. Uh, I like uh, I like talking talking about games to folks, and uh, it sounds like Nate's got got a really good program for you guys and i'm i'm excited to hear and see what you guys do for uh you know your what you guys are doing for your levels so all right guys well i hope you guys have a good night we're gonna sign off i think video support is still uh, with us all right okay. make sure to subscribe Thank you so much dan all right guys thanks thanks dan hit that like button <laughs> yeah hit the like button actually Smash you know that what? like button. I I, I do run a podcast called the uh, Redacted Reports. Please give it us a listen. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is called Cthulhu. Um, there, we do have content warnings up because it is. I, we do dig deep into the the horror things, and there is a cult. There's a cult of Dagon. That's why I'm wearing my Dagon shirt um, because uh, you know I got to keep true to keep true to the other stuff. My the side gig too. So, all right. It's lovely meeting everyone. Good luck and have a good time. Thanks again. Good Dan. night. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks guys.